All right, we're back here with um, Team Wad 1 and 2. This is Maximus and Vesuvius um, here with Bruce, and we've got some new assistants here. Justin and Luke are going to be acting as our male male team for today. Um, so this is like a ladder of sorts, um, but this will be the strength component for all the divisions, RX and scaled. Uh, the way this works is very simple. They're going to start off, the male athletes will start with 135 on the bar. One athlete in the team will be given 30 seconds to make that lift. That lift will be a thruster. Um, thruster standards are the same, clean it, whatever, as long as they do the thruster. And then at the end of 30 seconds, judge will say stop. They'll have 30 seconds to add on and get the next weight. They'll put that weight on the bar. And after that 30 seconds, they'll have 30 seconds to make that lift. And then they'll have 30 seconds to add the next weight onto the bar. They'll have 30 seconds to make that lift. And they'll have 30 seconds to make the next weight on the bar. If you finish a weight um, in say 15 seconds, you can go ahead and start uh, changing the weight for the next 30 seconds. They can go up as high as they can up through the 245 on the male side. So the weights are 135, 155, 175, 195, 205, 215, 225, 235, 245. We'll talk about the end in just a second. For the women, it'll be 75, 85, 95, 105, 115, 125, 135, 145, 155. <coughs> Either athlete can make the lift. The lift only has to be done once. So one athlete can do all the lifts. One athlete can do all the lifts at the beginning, and another athlete can do all the lifts at the end. You can break it up however you like. You can do one, the other person can do the other. It doesn't matter. One person on the team has to make the lift. Okay? If you make the lift, then you add the weight and go to the next one. If you make it to the end, you'll be given 30 seconds to put the most amount of weight that you can make on the bar and go for it. If you make that lift, that is your recorded weight for the, um, for the workout. If you don't make that lift, then that will be your recorded weight for the workout. The scaled weights. 95, 115, 135, 155, 165, 175, 185, 195, 205. Scaled females, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, 115. Do they have one attempt if they put, say, 300 pounds on, miss? They have 30 seconds. If in the 30 seconds, if they miss, can they drop a weight? As, as long as it's within the 30 seconds. Okay. So the way this is going to work from a logistics point of view, you'll have one head judge, you'll have uh, so many stations set up. There'll be something like this set up that has the weight that should be on the bar. So the first 30 seconds, it'll have 135 written across there. Okay. People will make their lifts. If you made it, they'll boop, flip over. 155 should be on the bar. Everybody then will switch their bars. If you do not make the lift, you will stay in that position. You won't move, you'll just stay there with whatever weight's on the bar and you'll wait until the end, okay? If you make the lift, then you continue up through the 10 minutes. Basically, these are nine lifts and then you have the following minute, the last minute, to make your final max lift, okay? Co-ed is a little different. Co-ed. Co-ed teams will be scored with the combined total with the female and the male weight added together. The first four lifts will be the female lifts. So the first four lifts will be, for the RX will be 75, 95, 115, 135. Then the weight will go to 135 and the male will start. Now, the female, if she makes that weight, she goes to the next one. If she makes 95, she goes to the next one. If she doesn't, she stays right there. The next time around, she doesn't lift and then all the men start at the same time. And then it'll be 135 if the guy makes it, 175, 205, 225. If the female makes all of her lifts, she doesn't do anything. If the male makes all of his lifts, after 225, he will have a chance to go for a max. So then it's the max weight. When he is done, the female will have a chance to go for a max. Okay, so the weight is completely increasing until the end, and then you have a chance to drop it down for the female to lift at the final. Okay? 
okay? Each final lift will have 30 seconds to make and 30 seconds to load the weight. All right, now here comes the exciting part about this. We'll talk about standards and switching and all that stuff in just a second. When you're done, this will be 10 minutes. You will move forward as a group into the second workout, Vesuvius, okay? At 12 minutes, this workout will begin. It's max distance at five minutes of a sled push. Now, the way this works is either athlete can push the sled, but only one can push at a time. And before both people push, one athlete has to do 10 burpees at the beginning of the line. So if you've got a big line set up you know, in between the distances, one athlete has to do 10 burpees, one athlete can start pushing. When the athlete is done with 10 burpees, they can catch up and assist with the other athlete pushing. When they come back to the start line, either athlete can do 10 burpees, but one of them has to do 10 burpees before they can assist again. So each time you do one completed round on your sled push, one athlete has to do 10 burpees before they can assist. Either athlete pushes, but you can't both push the sled at the same time. All right. Now, at the last round, when time is about to end on the five minutes, somebody pushes it 50 <laughs> meters, 50, uh, 50 feet, and somebody does five burpees. How are you going to score that? Burpees don't count for anything. The only thing is that the distance the sled moves. So the last set, as long as they're not completed, um, the burpees don't matter. Burpees don't matter. Yep. But they can't assist with the other person pushing the sled until they've done the burpees. Okay. So, yeah, the burpees don't matter at the end. Question about that. Can you split up the burpees or does the same person have to do all 10 burpees? Same person has to do all 10 burpees. So the question was, can you split up the burpees? No. One person does it. Now, here's the thing. That same person can do the burpees every time. Or you could...